Hi everyone, I'm Sabi from Creatures. Recently, I have the pleasure of joining our founder and CEO, Jonathan Crane, the former U.S. ambassador to China, Terry Branstad, the former U.S. ambassador to Singapore, and Creatures General Counsel, David Elman, for their first trip after the pandemic to China. So join me as I travel alongside my colleagues to explore China's post-COVID as well as recount their rich connections and histories in China. Would you like to say hi to the camera, John David? Hi guys. Hi everyone. Good to be back in Beijing. Yeah. I was excited to, to land and, and reconnect with a lot of old friends that I haven't seen and and business partners, you know, on the ground here is, mm -hmm. is seeing how busy China is, and um, it feels, yeah. you know, fully back to work. The purpose was to to come back and and um, and visit China the first time in a few years. So, you know, for for Crane Shares, um, met with our partner CICC and, and had very productive meetings. It was great to see everyone after all this time. We also have recently uh, launched the U.S. China Green Institute. Um, so we were over here on behalf of the Institute, which is uh, its mission is to have U.S. and China partner uh, around green initiatives and, and solutions uh, for the climate problem. And we think that U.S. and China working closer together is very important uh, for climate. The big part of it is, is U.S. China working together. Fantastic. Uh, and, and I think that that's also a signal to the rest of the world. I want to uh, reacquaint myself with our sister state, Abay province of China and the capital city of Shishaijuang. It was a sister state agreement that mm -hmm. I signed with Governor Zhang Zhiguang mm -hmm. in the summer of 1983. I was really proud to be considered an old friend of Xi Jinping mm -hmm. and the people of China. Mm -hmm. And then when I was appointed by Donald Trump as ambassador, he and his wife and 25 year old daughter hosted us oh for a God. special dinner. You know, it's been three years uh, since I've been back and um, we've been very warmly welcomed, which is uh, not surprising, but it's, it's still fantastic. Uh, and it looks to me like uh, Shanghai and Beijing are very much open for business, which is great. You know, as is often the case when I travel to China, I have mm -hmm. a few different um, purposes, but at the top of the list for this trip um, is to um, uh, really firmly establish the US-China Green Institute, mm -hmm. uh, which is this um, nonprofit that uh, we have founded uh, to um, work across the Pacific in both uh, the US and China uh, on um, climate change and on um, green initiatives. This is an area where the US and China clearly must work together. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in the interest, not just of the US and China, but in the interest of the whole world for the United States and China to cooperate on green initiatives. The US and China uh, need to come together as, as global leaders. And the, the closer uh, and better relationship US and China have, the better for the world. We see China really becoming an asset class. It, you know, it's been a big part of, of my life. And uh, also I see, I have a lot of friends here and business partners and uh, relationships between Chinese people and American people are very positive. I still think there's uh, lots of opportunity uh, for win-win opportunities for uh, for U.S. and China to be working together. These kind of relationships, mm -hmm. uh, personal relationships, uh, and people-to-people -people relationships, friendships, I think go a long ways to showing that, yes, we are different cultures, but we have a lot in common. The Chinese people appreciate the quality and the safety of American food. Yes. And the American consumer appreciates uh, the quality and affordability of the Chinese consumer products. Mm -hmm. So even though we have differences, we need to continue to trade with each other. I'm very optimistic about U.S.-China uh, relations, um, primarily because the two countries are interdependent. The two largest uh, economies in the world China has an interest in American economic success, American purchasing um, power uh, at the top of the list. And of course, the United States uh, has a stake in Chinese economic success as a supplier of products around the world and increasingly as a market for American product. I'm very excited to be here. And, um, and from this trip, we plan on coming back uh, many times now going forward. Cooperation is the way for win-win relationship. 
We hope US and China can work together and create more opportunities for the whole world. I'm Xia Bing. I will see you next time.